The 11 must-have safety gear for woodworkers is what we're diving into today. Welcome to Woodworking Eco, your hub for insights and improvements in the craft. You may think, I've been doing this for years, I know what I'm doing. But bear in mind that even the most experienced of us can have accidents. The right safety gear could be what separates a close call from a dreaded trip to the emergency room. We're covering everything from safety glasses to dust masks, hearing protection to respirators. These are the 11 essential safety tools that should be in the arsenal of every woodworker. So keep watching, this might just turn out to be the most important woodworking lesson you'll ever partake in. Remember, safety always takes the front seat in any woodworking project. Number one on our list is safety glasses. You know, our eyes are one of our most precious assets, so it's only right to give them the protection they deserve. Safety glasses serve as a shield to keep your eyes safe from wood chips, dust, and other debris that might fly off during your woodworking tasks. They come in a variety of styles, from basic models to versions with anti-fog and anti-scratch lenses. If you wear prescription glasses, don't fret. There are over-the-glasses safety glasses available too. For those long sessions, consider glasses with padded frames for added comfort. And hey, don't forget about those glasses with UV protection if you're working outdoors. Remember, it's not just about keeping the wood in check, but looking after your vision too. Never underestimate the importance of good safety glasses. Moving on to number two, the dust mask. In the world of woodworking, dust is an inevitable byproduct. But do you want to know what shouldn't be? Breathing it in? That's where dust masks come into play. These bad boys are designed to filter out airborne particles, providing a clear passage for you to breathe. Imagine them as your personal bodyguards, keeping the harmful dust at bay while you focus on creating your masterpiece. Now, not all dust masks are created equal. You've got your basic disposable mask, perfect for light duty jobs. Then there's the reusable dust mask with replaceable filters. These are great for frequent woodworkers, offering enhanced protection and longevity. And for the full on pros, you might consider a dust mask with built-in eye protection. Remember, your lungs are as vital to your woodworking as your chisels and saws. Breathing clean air is crucial, so don't forget your dust mask. Up next, number three, hearing protection. Now we all enjoy the symphony of saws and sanders, but prolonged exposure to these sounds can lead to hearing loss. That's where hearing protection comes into play. It reduces noise levels to ensure your ears stay safe while you're busy creating masterpieces. There are two main types of hearing protection, earplugs and earmuffs. Earplugs are compact, easy to carry around, and can be custom molded to your ear canal for a perfect fit. They're great for reducing moderate noise levels. On the other hand, earmuffs provide a higher level of protection covering your entire ear. They're ideal for situations where you're dealing with particularly loud machinery. Both earplugs and earmuffs come in a variety of styles and some even offer additional features like built-in radios or Bluetooth connectivity so you can groove to your favorite tunes while you work. Remember, folks, protect your ears and you'll thank yourself in the long run. Number four on our list, the respirator. Now, woodworking is not just about what you can see, but also about what you can't see. Those tiny particles dancing in the air, they might seem harmless, but they can be a real threat to your lungs. That's where the respirator comes in. It's your personal guardian, filtering out the harmful particles before they can make their way into your system. There are several types of respirators available in the market, from disposable ones that are perfect for light duty tasks, to the more heavy duty reusable types that are designed to handle a higher concentration of particles. It's all about finding what suits your needs best. Remember, your lungs are like a high performance engine. They need clean air to function at their best. Don't let them get bogged down by dust and debris. Your lungs are precious, protect them with a good respirator. At number five, we have safety gloves. Now, why are safety gloves so important in woodworking? Well, they're your first line of defense against cuts, splinters, and abrasions. Not only do they protect your hands, but they also offer improved grip, helping you hold on to your tools with confidence. There's a wide variety of safety gloves out there, each designed to cater to a specific need. For instance, leather gloves are tough and durable, perfect for handling rough wood or sharp tools. Nitrile coated gloves, on the other hand, offer excellent resistance to chemicals and oils, making them ideal for tasks that involve finishes or adhesives. And let's not forget about cut resistant gloves, which are a must have when working with sharp tools or materials. But remember, the best glove for you is the one that fits well and feels comfortable. After all, you'll be wearing these gloves for hours on end. A good pair of safety gloves is a woodworker's best friend. 
Number 6 on our list, GFCI Outlets. You might be wondering what's that got to do with woodworking? Well let me tell you, it's all about safety folks. GFCI or Ground Fault Circuit Interrupter Outlets are designed to protect you from electrical shocks. They monitor the amount of current flowing from hot to neutral. If there's any imbalance, it trips the circuit off. Imagine you're working on your favorite piece and boom, a tool malfunctions and causes a short. A regular outlet might just let that current go wild. But a GFCI outlet? It's going to cut that power faster than a hot knife through butter, protecting you from a potentially hazardous shock. Now, installation isn't too tricky. You replace your regular outlets with these, making sure to connect the wires correctly, and they're just as easy to use. You plug in your tools like usual, and the outlet does the rest. GFCI outlets, a must-have for every woodworking shop. Up next, at number seven, the safety apron. A humble yet essential piece of safety gear for woodworkers. It's not just about keeping your clothes clean from dust and debris. A safety apron can also prevent sharp and hot splinters from making unwanted contact with your body. Imagine working on a piece of oak, only for a rogue splinter to find its way to your skin. That's something you'd rather avoid, right? A well-constructed safety apron can be your first line of defense against such hazards. But not all safety aprons are created equal. Some are made from heavy-duty leather, providing excellent protection, but can be a bit heavy. Others are crafted from lighter materials like canvas or cotton, offering a good balance between protection and comfort. There are even aprons with pockets and loops, perfect for keeping your essential tools within arm's reach. So consider your needs and choose wisely. A safety apron, not just for cooking, but for woodworking too. Number eight on our list, anti-vibration gloves. Now these are no ordinary gloves. Anti-vibration gloves are specifically designed to absorb shock and vibration, reducing the impact on your hands when using power tools. This is particularly handy when you're working with those high vibration tools like sanders, grinders, or chainsaws. Over time, excessive vibration can lead to conditions like hand arm vibration syndrome, a painful and potentially disabling condition. Anti-vibration gloves help to prevent this, ensuring your hands remain steady and comfortable throughout your woodworking journey. There's a wide range of anti-vibration gloves available in the market, each offering different levels of protection and comfort. Some top recommendations include the Superior Glove Vibration Dampening Gloves and the Cestus Tremble X5 Anti-Vibration Glove. Remember, the right pair of gloves can significantly enhance your woodworking experience, so choose wisely. Keep your hands steady with anti-vibration gloves. Coming up at number nine, push sticks. Now, these might not look like much, but they're an absolute game changer in the woodworking world. Push sticks are all about keeping your most valuable woodworking tools, your fingers, safe and sound. They're designed to guide your workpiece through a table saw or router table, keeping your hands at a safe distance from the blade. They provide control, stability, and precision, allowing you to make those fine cuts without the risk of a mishap. There's a variety of push sticks out there, from the simple and straightforward to the ones with ergonomic designs and added features. If you're just starting out, a basic push stick will serve you well. But as you gain experience and start making more complex cuts, you might want to look into the more advanced options. So there you have it. Stay safe and keep your fingers intact with a good push stick. At number 10, we have the fire extinguisher. This is an essential piece of safety equipment that no workshop, no matter the size, should be without. A fire extinguisher is your first line of defense in the unfortunate event of a fire. It can help control small blazes and prevent them from escalating into full-scale infernos. The benefits of having a fire extinguisher on hand are manifold. It not only protects your work area and your precious woodworking projects, but more importantly, it safeguards your life and the lives of those around you. Using a fire extinguisher is pretty straightforward. Remember the acronym PASS. Pull the pin, aim at the base of the fire, squeeze the lever, and sweep side to side. Maintenance is also key. Regularly check the pressure gauge and ensure it's in the green zone. Remember, safety isn't expensive, it's priceless. A fire extinguisher because you never know when you might need one. And finally, number 11, the first aid kit. A quintessential component of any woodworking shop, the first aid kit is your immediate response to minor injuries that can occur in the workshop. Its purpose is to provide quick and effective treatment for cuts, scrapes, burns, and other minor injuries that are a part of the woodworking territory. The benefits of having a first aid kit are countless. It allows for immediate attention to injuries, potentially preventing more serious damage. 
and it ensures that minor mishaps don't turn into major problems. So, what should be included in a woodworking first aid kit? Well, at the very least, it should contain band-aids, antiseptic wipes, tweezers, medical tape, gauze pads, a digital thermometer, and a pair of medical gloves. For more severe incidents, it's also wise to include a tourniquet, a CPR mask, and a first aid manual. A first aid kit, an essential part of any woodworking shop. Thanks for staying with us until the end. And as a bonus, we have number 12, non-slip floor mats. Now, why might you need these? Well, imagine creating your masterpiece. Your focus is unwavering, your hands are steady, but whoops, there goes your footing on a stray wood shaving. With non-slip floor mats, you can maintain your grip on reality and your footing in the workshop. They provide that extra level of safety, cushioning your workspace and reducing the chance of slips and falls. Plus, they make standing for long periods a tad more comfortable on those hardworking feet of yours. Now, let's take a moment to revisit our journey. We've explored the importance of safety gear in woodworking, from the humble safety glasses to the indispensable first aid kit. Each piece of equipment plays a pivotal role in keeping you safe as you craft your wooden wonders. Safety glasses protect your eyes from flying debris, a dust mask keeps your lungs clear of harmful particles, and hearing protection shields your ears from the roar of power tools. Don't forget about the crucial role a respirator plays when working with chemicals. Safety gloves, GFCI outlets, safety aprons, anti-vibration gloves, push sticks, fire extinguishers, and first aid kits all contribute to a safer, more efficient workspace. And remember, every woodworker has a personal responsibility to prioritize safety. Investing in proper safety equipment is not just an expense, it's a commitment to your craft and your well-being. Well, that's it, folks. We've covered a lot of ground today, but remember, this is just the tip of the iceberg. There are many more ways to ensure safety in your workshop, and we'll be covering those in future videos. Remember, the best woodworker is a safe woodworker. Like, comment, subscribe, and check out our website for more woodworking content. Stay safe.